So I don't know if you've had any dealings with these salt panels here or not, but when we first started installing these, I was trying to figure out the best way to cut them. And I first thought, you know, maybe use a grinder, but I didn't want to chip the salt up too bad. And then I said, well, maybe I could use a wet saw or a tile saw. And I was like, well, I don't know if I could use a tile saw or not because they, the way they're designed, they've got this, a good, like a thicker fiberglass backing on them. So I didn't really want to do that. So the, the best way that I've come up with to, to cut these was use a multi-tool. <clears throat> so you just put your line here on the back and use a multi-tool and just score your line real good and let somebody hold the vacuum cleaner so you know there's no dust and you don't have to breathe the fiberglass or anything. And then after you've got your, your score through the fiberglass, you just break it. Let me show you how it works. So you guys, that to me is a lot easier than using a grinder or a wet saw. You just score it with the multi-tool and then break it. Whenever you're cutting it with the multi-tool though, you need to make sure that you're using a carbide tip blade. If you're not using a carbide tip blade, you're gonna be going through a lot of blades. Car carbide tip blades, they're a lot stronger and they last a lot longer. They don't dull as easy. So a multi-tool with the carbide tip blade is the best way that I think to cut this. Let me know what you guys think.